This is Simon Turk, and in this video we are looking at equating coefficients. And I would say that equating coefficients is a much easier way than dividing polynomials. So this video will show you how to do it. Now the first question is x squared minus 4x plus 7 goes to 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 21. And what we have to work out here is what um, factor can we put in to make the first part the second part. Now, this one's fairly easy because it's already an x squared going to an x cubed. So we know there's only going to be an x plus or minus something. And in order to do this, we need to work out what a and b are. So I'm going to write this down as x squared minus 4x plus 7. And then what we're going to times this by to get the answer is going to be ax plus b. Now from here it's fairly simple as we can work out a by comparing the x squared to the 2x squared and as it's 2x squared and this is x squared what we need to times it by is 2 so a is equal to 2 and then b, we're equating the, the 7, and this 7 here goes to the 21 here. So in order to get that, we'll times it by 3. So therefore, what you're timesing it by is 2x plus 3. So that's a very simple example of how you can get from one thing to another thing fairly easier without having to divide it. So the next one to look at is slightly harder because we're adding a c in here. And this is 3t plus 2 goes to 6t cubed minus 5t squared plus 15t plus 14. And for this one, it will be 3t plus 2. And this will be times by a quadratic instead and to write this you'll simply do a t squared plus a t b t sorry b t plus c and here instead of just working out a and b we need to work out a b and C. Now A and C are fairly easy to work out, B is the problem. So in order to get A, what we're going to be looking at is this 3t to the 6t cubed, so therefore A will be equal to 2, because 3 times 2 is equal to 6, so we're doing that there. Then the B we can't work out yet, because we don't know what going on with a b yet, but the c we can work out because we've got 2 needs to go to that 14, so therefore c is going to be equal to 7. Now the b, in order to do this, we're going to have to equate the coefficients again, but we're going to be looking at this minus 5t squared. And we're going to say here that minus 5t squared is equal and then on this we're going to look at every way that we can make t squared so the first one would be 2 times by a t squared and that's going to be we'll write for now 2 a t squared now there's one other way we can make the t squared and that's 3 t times by b t which is equal to plus 3 b t squared. Now one thing we can notice in all of these terms is that there's a t squared, a t squared and a t squared. So what we can simply do is just take away all the t squareds because it's still the same. So therefore we've got minus 5 is equal to 2a and as we've already worked out a we can find that's 4 because that's 2 times 2. So minus 5 is equal to 4 plus 
3b and then it's just simple rearranging from here to get 3b is equal to minus 9 and then b is equal to minus 3. So therefore, your final answer is equal to 2t squared minus 3t plus 7. And that is what you would get from dividing it However, I personally believe that this is an easier method. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.